Oh, hello everybody. It's been a while. Um, so today we are going to quickly fix a MacBook that was brought in for a flex gate issue. So this is this is how it looks like. You, so when you open it around this angle, you can see everything clearly. The moment you open it past an angle, it goes black. Do you get it? So that's what we're going to fix today. So I've already removed the bottom screws. I'll go ahead and open it up so this is the cable responsible for the backlights so you can see there is a break over here so the moment you open the screen wide this is how the cable expands and be like so when it's closed it's like this so that's why at a low angle you'll be able to see the screen the moment you open it wide the cable stretches and it breaks they get it so we're going to fix this today so this is a cable for the backlight so i'm going to turn this cable over just like that then i'll bring it over like this all right i've held the cable with a captain tape Meaning I'm going to cut across this cable. Just like that. This is the part of the cable that is broken. So I have scraped this part of the cable because I'm going to cut it off. All right. Yeah. So I have cut short this cable. This is the cable that we cut off. And then the one beneath is the replacement. So I just want to make the replacement cable a little bit longer. Do you get it? So this is how I'm going to mark it. So I'm just going to script this side of the cable. so then i'll cut this side i've exposed the tracks on this new cable as well and i have left a little bit so that i can keep this cable under the new cable under this one all right but before that i'll have to add some flags and some black paste some paste here yeah. all flags i'll turn on my smoke purifier and i'll come with my ion I want to make sure all of these parts have soda and this ones as well. Right? Then I'll bring it just beneath it. Align the cable and I want to make sure this one connects together. Is that right? I want to properly align the cable just like that. So 
so the cable is properly aligned so i'll come with my cotton tape one more time now this time i just want to hold the cable down okay just like that so now I have to connect these two cable with some jump wires. So just like that. Then I cut it. But then I just want to add more lead to this trace or this to this track so that it stays stable and stronger okay so from here i'll just have to add a little bit of soda did you see that making the truck more stronger all right Every time I join the cable together, I just I just have to add more soda onto that truck, okay? Just to make the truck more stronger, so that the customer can use this for a very long time. Because that's the goal. The goal is that after this is fixed, the customer should be able to f use this for a, lo a very long time. That is why I keep adding more lead or more soda onto every truck that i build okay so i want to make sure i add more lead over on this truck and this as well all right 
so that will make this cable stay stronger so as you can see we are done now you want to clean all of the flax okay you need to clean all of the flax with some alcohol we need to make sure we have eliminated all of the rack all of most of the flax residues then after we're going to check with our multimeter if we have all of the circuits so this is ground this is ground this is ground this is ground the rest are not supposed to be ground okay so the multimeter is set to continuous so we check here and we are good and this is so one two three four five six these are the led return lines and this is the main backlight this this is the main track for the backlight these are the led return return lines that's that, that's for the L R G B W, and it increased brightness and reduced brightness that's why they are six so rgbw the next one is to increase brightness and the last one is to reduce brightness that's why they are six so we are done so the next thing is we're going to coat this one we're going to add some um uv glue uv mask correct just like this This is the first UV. So I'm going to bring my UV lights. As you can see. And my UV is there. As you can see. Right. I've added some UV. So we give it about three thirty seconds to a minute. For it to cure properly, mostly supposed to, mostly it's like five seconds, but I always want to leave it so that it becomes too hard. So 30 seconds is always good for me. All right, so our UV is out, and you can see that the mask, this part is very, very hard now, right? So the next thing is we're going to assemble and test to see if we've done a very good job. Is that right? It's very unfortunate I don't have the overhead camera set up yet because I have been away for a while and now I am actually resuming so very soon you'll be seeing more of my uploads okay so connect the screen i have connected the screen i need to connect the battery the battery screw and the bmu cable I need to make sure that nothing got onto the motherboard. Start right. And then after now. So now this I'm bringing my charger. So you want to see the Apple logo. We have the Apple logo. And now I have opened this as wide as you can see. 
Have you seen? Have you seen the angle? This is this is her. So now you can open and close and you are good. So this is a backlight issue that affects most of the 2016 and the 2017 MacBooks. And then I remember back in 2017, Apple called back all of those devices and then they had their screen replaced. But now here in Africa, most of us can't, you know, afford the new M5. So probably many of us are still going to get the 2017s. And then if you have got the 2017 already and you have this issue you should you should decide for yourself either to fix it for half the price of the screen or you just have to buy a completely new screen this is the best i could do for people who don't want to buy a new screen because it will be i don't know some people don't want their devices fixed others too want to because of the economic hardship we have over here in ghana Thank you very much and I hope you liked the video. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.